How they are looking, Jase? Yeah, good. Uh, obviously, having Latrell back makes a big difference. Um, getting AJ back on the wing will help as well, but um, yeah, we just got to start well tomorrow night. Latrell, I mean, been the most fortunate thing all weekend. How has he been this week? Have you seen an increased excitement, motivation from him? Yeah, he's been itching to go for weeks. So, yeah, it's just probably calming him down a little bit before the game. And um, you just can see the difference he makes to the flow in our, in our attack. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing him out there tomorrow night. He obviously didn't play that charity shield. That was like a move so you can make sure he was right this week. He sort of tied you for this week. Is that right? So. Yeah, we're, we're, you know, our pre-season is a bit different to most teams. Um, similar to Penrith, we didn't start back till mid-January. Um, and it was important to get the loads in, into their legs before we... Threw him out there, and, and Latrell obviously had a bit more time than, than the other boys. And at the time when we made the decision, we didn't know that um, he was going to get the extra week uh, given back to him. So uh, we're happy with the plan, and yeah, looking forward to getting him out there. It's never easy to face the storm, but this week was particularly hard to face his 500th. Is it his 500th? <laughs> <laughs> um, <Okay. laughs> yeah. Um, no, it, it, for me as a, as a coach, a privilege to go down there. Um, it's a privilege to coach a team and go up against Craig. and you know, the storm has been so good for so long. Um, it's exciting. It's an exciting challenge. Have you had anything to do with Craig in terms of your coaching? You sort of went all through him, didn't you? Yeah, no, up in uh, North Queensland. But, yeah, no, I haven't had too much to do with him other than to say hello and, um, you know, a huge amount of respect for what he's done and continues to do. Is he someone that a coach coming into their first year would sort of admire and look up to? Is someone that you would want to end up on? Yeah, I do, for sure, yeah. I think what I like about Craig is he's authentic and... Um, he knows what works for him and his, and his club buy into that and it's proven to be successful for a long time and especially recently a lot of people talked about the, the big four moving on and how the team would struggle from then and I think they've won a grand final and been in another one since then so um, yeah, you can't help but uh, look, to, look at him and, and what he's done. Yeah, I was fortunate to work with a bloke who's at 900 and something, so, um, oh, look, if I'm at 300, I'll be stoked. Um, but, yeah, it's again, it's a credit to him um, and his family as well. Uh, I know what um, pressure this kind of job and um, you know, what it does for your family, and he's obviously got a very stable one that uh, committed to his career as well. It's a bit of a baptism of fire for you as a coach, Jason. You've got the storm this week, bruises next week, Panthers after that. But is that sort of the challenge you want in your first season, just to sort of see where you're at? Yeah, I think, like I said before, it's a privilege. You know, we're, we're considered in those big games and that's off the back of what we've done over the last few years and where we, we're at as a club. You know, we're considered to be one of those top sides that are playing the big side. So for us, it's about getting excited each week. Um, you know, we can't look too far ahead. We, we want to improve this week on what we did last week. I thought we did from the Charity Shield and if we can improve again this week, uh, the result will take care of itself. Obviously, every game's must win, but... When you look at the road ahead, do you look back on last week and think See, that really was one we probably sh should have picked up? Or? Oh, not really. I think um, we beat ourselves, which was probably the most disappointing thing. Uh, I don't think going to Brisbane and, and in round one and expecting the two points uh, is a given. So, you know, but I thought we beat ourselves. That completion rate of 63% just given, didn't give our team the chance. And then we tried to chase points and put ourselves under a bit of pressure as well by doing that. So um, we know what we need to fix. We've just got to fix it now. Did you prep for this season? How much time was spent? Like, I imagine the majority of your um, percent play stuff was set with Lockie, Cody and, and Latrell playing this final game super as well. Like, so you're still just looking forward to actually seeing them all play together now. You haven't had a chance to do that yet? Yeah, well, um, I've been happy with seeing them train together. Um, you know, and we know, we know like, and as we did last year, everybody talks about what we did last year and they reflect back, obviously, to making a grand final. But our season built, we got flogged twice last year in the middle of the season and, and we got beaten pretty comprehensively in Melbourne as well, although we came back. So, you know, our season needs to build as it did last year, as it, as it does every year. Do you think, like, how much easier is it making for Lockie having Latrell in there this week for Lockie and going forward? Because, like I said, like, he would have prepped for that the whole way through. And obviously, Latrell, you do, you are able to play a different type of game. He's different than everyone else. Yeah, well, I think his role ch doesn't change, but the opportunities he sees does. You know, and Latrell is a player who attracts attention. Uh, there's no doubt about that. And wherever side of the ruck he is, there's opportunities to play on both sides. So uh, I think that helps Cody and, and Lockie, um, but it also can help Damien Cook as well. You mentioned before Latrell, like you've always been trying to calm him down before growing up. We know Latrell's a guy who plays with a stack of passion. Like, is that something you actually feel like you've had to do this week or, or tomorrow just to sort of 
bring him down a little bit? Not, not really. I want his passion. I want him out there. I want him um, loving being, being out there with his South Sydney jersey on. It's more about playing the game in his head before we get there and he, he turns up fatigued because he's been that excited all week. So, yeah, no, it's about getting him fired up and, and right, ready to go at the right time. They said that you, obviously, tomorrow night we have Pappy V. Latrell, Friday night we have Teddy V. Turbo. <laughs> definitely, I think, are obviously the best four fullbacks in the game. Do you have a view on who the number one, number one is? Oh, look, I think they all bring different skill sets as well and they all play differently. I think Teddy to Latrell are completely different players. Um, but look, you know, I'm stoked to have Latrell in our team. He brings so much on the field, but off the field as well. Um, but yeah, huge amount of respect for those other three guys as well. What about the record in Melbourne? It's, I feel like we talk about it every single year. Is that something you shield players from? And why do you think that is the record is as it is down there? Oh, you know, what, why it is over tw 20 years ago, I've got no idea. Um, why it is over the last few years, I, um, it's, we beat ourselves when we go down there. And we, I think that we've been under 65% completion rate every time we've gone down there in the last two or three years. So, look, we know what we have to do. Uh, we just got to get down there and do it now.